Halo Infinite being delayed until 2022 and completely dropping the Xbox One support? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know when I see some more content like this. Helps more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. And to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe as we ramp up to the eventual release of Halo Infinite. So the rumor mill keeps on turning and we have some more leaked news when it comes to Halo Infinite. Ever since the announcement of the 2021 delay by 343 of Halo Infinite, there's been a lot of talk going around why it's being delayed, where is the work being allocated, and what is actually happening with this game. As it was the most anticipated game to come out on the Xbox Series X, to have it be delayed and miss the launch day of the platform itself is a big hit to the Microsoft's bottom line. Though for the game to be the game that we want it all to be, it needs a little more time in the oven, so that's understandable. Though a lot of people have been speculating what is the reason behind this and what's actually going on. What is Microsoft going to do to try to audible the plays here a little bit and see if it can get this game out sooner rather than later. We do have a community update coming up pretty soon from Unishack about uh, some more Halo Infinite development as well. As soon as that information comes out, I'll make sure to make a video on it for you guys as well. If there's anything worth mentioning that I think you guys would like to know. Well, on the gaming forum Reset Era, which previously that where we got our information for for the Halo Infinite leak information by Clobril about the uh, cinematic style being more single shot take, which has kind of been similar to what we've been seeing in the same line of God of War, as well as the grapple hook leak was on this same forum from Clobro, who's a known insider. We have another known insider with Microsoft information, Sponger, if I might make sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, has a little bit of extra information for us. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Now, again, this is all unconfirmed information but you do have to take this information with a bit of grain of salt and realize it's probably interpretations of information that they're hearing rather than the actual news itself it's the only thing that's ever truly confirmed and what we know is directly from 343 but there's a lot of people with connections inside the workings of microsoft in 343 and some people like to share that information out and i'd like to share that with you guys right now so on reset era's forum sponger said this i was considering a lot to post it or not not, but after few considerations with different sources, I'll put it. Microsoft slash 343 Industries is currently very busy with idea of dropping Xbox One support for Halo Infinite. Even idea to postpone it to early 2022 is on the table. It's pretty messy up there with decisions, but they are convinced that they need to make the best Halo game ever. So that is some very interesting tidbits of insider information, guys. This was a major concern with the fan base even before the release of the demo, knowing that the game is going to be supported by the Xbox One. With the release of the Xbox One being in 2013 and trying to support a game in 2020 that's supposed to be truly next-gen and a console seller, but also support old hardware, can be very difficult and to the point where it can actually maybe even hold it back, which we've seen in previous games as well. Now, me personally, I'm okay with dropping the Xbox One support because I'm planning to get this game on PC anyways. Though I do understand Microsoft's pressing of the issue of making sure the game can be on the Xbox One because, you know, not everyone's gonna be jumping on the new consoles as soon as they release. Some people might not have the money. It's very standard for games to be on multiple platforms when it comes to these uh, mid-generational kind of switches. Though the thing that really bothers me is the early 2022 release. When I heard this delay was happening, I was assuming kind of like a six month kind of deal and we'll get like a 2021 release like in March or April to have a nice uh, quarterly start for Microsoft. If 343 is able to drop the Xbox One support Support, that means they could probably do a lot with the visuals, graphics, and play areas to make it so they can really truly grab the vision of Halo Infinite that they want to grab. Sponger actually continues on talking about the Xbox platform as well, how it's not exactly performing super well, saying current version of Halo Infinite on Xbox One S is nowhere near 1080p, even lower than 900p, and is having serious asset loading issues, much worse that what we have in that PC demo. Idea is to change at the engine level how assets load, make ray tracing as default 
in parentheses here, move or unlock some assets, improve geometry, post-processing, and more CPU-bound interactivity. Again, this is not confirmed information, though it is important to note that these earlier versions of the Xbox One family of consoles probably will struggle to run this game. But they don't mention about the Xbox One X, which I think will be probably just fine. That'd probably be the one you might be able to still play Halo Infinite on for the Xbox One support. For a hardware comparison between the Xbox One X and what we have for the Series X, there's actually not a whole lot of difference, but there is enough to where it's certainly worth mentioning. Both Xbox One X and Series X support 8 core CPUs, but the Series X running at 3.8 gigahertz. Though a big jump is where the GPU is, with the Series X having 12 teraflops of information, while the One X only has 6 teraflops, so it essentially double the graphical, graphical power. Uh, you have 16 gigabytes of RAM on the Series X, 12 on the One X, which isn't that huge of a difference, obviously. Then there's frame rate support and also the different uh, hard drives as well. So the main difference is in the graphical processing. Though we don't have a spec right now on the Xbox Series S, which is supposed to be like the lower end version, digital format, I believe is the current rumors of it. And I'm assuming it's probably a nice bridge between these two different platforms as well. Now, why the rumors of an early 2022 release? Well, that could be because of if they're gonna drop the Xbox One, they could do a lot more with the game when it comes to graphical processing, play areas, and number of polygons you can have on a screen in general. And so then you can really expand your game to a whole new level, which would cause it probably another year long delay, which then when the game finally does release, it would be a much grander, bigger experience than we could ever imagine. Bigger and better than what we saw in that PC gameplay demo, which when I hear that date, it scares me as a content creator. Uh, it freaks me out, but I think it will also give them an opportunity to create the game that they want. Also give proper time for flighting, which is something that looks like they might try to bring back into the scope of things if uh, we have some proper time given to this game development. Though delaying that long does seem rather lengthy as the way to put it, I would say. Uh, I wouldn't imagine much more than a six month delay. Uh, it, this game, I feel like it's still going to be released in 2021, either being in like March, April time frame or like October, November kind of time frame. Those are the two time frames I see releasing in 2021. I think right now we're just getting some leaked rumors of discussions of when Halo Infinite is going to release. And we're hearing these different dates being thrown around because I think right now they're trying to balance out, okay, what can we do now with this delay? What can we add into the game? What is our full vision? What's our minimal vision? When's a good time to release? And so right now, I think just 343 and Microsoft are in discussions of when this game will release and I think probably the most extended grandiose time frame would be early 2022 but I would highly suspect the release would be in 2021. So what are you guys' thoughts on the information? Leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you've been on the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right now. I got a link to the playlist to keep you up to date with all the Halo information going on right now. And also guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.